Hello, I'm Mrs. Dale Daly, and I'm going to read you a story today. The name of my story is Little Red Riding Hood. This is the front of my book. This is the back of my book. And this is called the spine of my book. And what the spine does, it holds the pages together. So we're going to read this story. And this story is a fairy tale. A fairy tale usually starts with once upon a time. Okay, so here we go. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood lived with her mother and father in a cottage in the forest. One day, she took a cake to her grandmother, who was ill. Do anybody know what that word ill means? Ill means that her grandmother was sick. Grandmother lived on the other side of the forest. In the forest lived a big, bad wolf. Along the way, Little Red Riding Hood stopped to pick some flowers. The big bad wolf came up behind her. Oof, I would have been so afraid. Hello, little girl, growled the big bad wolf. Where are you going? I'm going to take this cake to grandmother, said Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf had a plan. He took a shortcut to grandmother's cottage and knocked on the door. Hello, grandmother, he growled. It's Little Red Riding Hood. That's not Little Red Riding Hood, thought grandmother. Quickly, she hid in the closet. The wolf opened the door and went inside. There's no one here, he grumbled. The wolf put on grandmother's nightgown and cap. Then he jumped into the bed. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the cottage door. Hello, grandmother. Hello, grandmother. It's Little Red. Come in, my dear, called the wolf, and he licked his lips. My, what big ears you have, grandmother said Little Red Riding Hood. Is it Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma? Who do you think it is in the bed? Okay, we gonna see who it is. All the better to hear you with, growled the wolf. My, what big eyes you have, Grandmother, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, growled the wolf. Mine, what big teeth you have, grandmother, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, roared the wolf as he jumped out of bed. Just then, a woodcutter walked past the cottage. He ran inside and chased the wolf away. Little Red Riding Hood was safe. Little Red Riding Hood heard knocking from inside the closet. She ran over and let Grandma out. I'll never talk to strangers in the forest again, said Little Red Riding Hood. The end. So here we learned a lesson today that no matter who we see, if we don't know that person, that person is a stranger and that we should never talk to strangers.